Today we're continuing our in-depth look at Star Wars Visions Volume 2 with the fourth short, I Am Your Mother by Ardman. One of my favorite aspects of Star Wars Visions Volume 2 is the variety of not only animation styles, but also storytelling. I would say Volume 1 was largely fairly serious, except for Tatooine Rhapsody being a more lighthearted rock opera. But it's so refreshing to have a straight-up comedy in Volume 2 created by a studio known for its animated comedies. I think it can be easy to forget that Star Wars is also very funny at times. The Empire Strikes Back is known as the dark and dramatic Star Wars film, but it also has some great comedic beats, especially between Han Solo and C-3PO. And of course, we can't forget the influence stop motion has had on the franchise either. The Hollow Chess game, the AT-ATs, and the Rancor, some of Star Wars' most iconic scenes involve stop motion. Bringing Ardman into this collection of shorts seems like a no-brainer. And if you know me, you know I have a deep love for the pilots of Star Wars, so this short was right up my alley. Having Dennis Lawson return to play a comedic version of his character is brilliant. The story is funny at every turn, but it's still able to deliver emotional beats that are perfectly in line with Star Wars themes. Our main characters are Twi'leks, who live in a beat-up space tug with a malfunctioning yet adorable droid dog named Z1. The young daughter, Annie, is embarrassed by her mother and their lot in life, and according to the filmmaker Focus on Disney+, Plus, that was driven by two real-world inspirations. The writer and director of the short, Magdalena Osinska, grew up as an underprivileged Polish immigrant. Her mother sacrificed to get her a good education, and Magdalena didn't understand the gravity of those sacrifices growing up. Annie's voice actor, Charithra Chandran, also had a similar experience, feeling as if she grew up as an outsider, bringing different food to school for lunch, for example. She acknowledged that she didn't want to feel different as a kid, but becoming an adult, she realized her differences made her special. Annie sees every aspect of her life as embarrassing and as some sort of weakness when really they are all unique strengths. Yes, their ship is kind of a piece of junk, but so is the Millennium Falcon. People insult that ship at every turn, but Han Solo loves it and values it, and it always comes through for him. The matchup of a space tug against the sleek and technologically advanced ship piloted by the over-the-top baddies, the Van Reeples, is classic Star Wars. The Rebels fly beat-up X-Wings and Y-Wings in the Battle of Yavin, and they destroy the technological terror that is the Death Star. The Ewoks beat the ATSTs that stomp around their forest with a bunch of simple log traps. Money can buy you an upper hand, but it can't buy you victory. Genuine heart and connection and the support of your family or friends are all stronger than a fast ship. Annie and her mother beat the Van Reeples because they work through their differences to find common ground, and they perform the Ryloth rule, which they learn together, not at the Flight Academy. Meanwhile, the Van Reeples bicker and fight because they don't truly support one another, they're just in the race for the glory of the win. Their ship crashing and then the airbag going off has made me laugh out loud every time. I Am Your Mother is funny and yet very relatable, and it's also nice to see a story about motherhood, especially on the screen. They are few and far between in Star Wars. So let me know what you thought of the short in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.